My name is Vladimir Slipa. The Jews of the Soviet Union, isolated for decades behind the Iron Curtain, also experienced a reawakening. Soviet Jewry's struggle to emigrate to Israel became a worldwide call for freedom and democracy. In Jerusalem, London, Paris, New York and Washington, in demonstrations, rallies and marches, protesters called on the Soviet authorities to let my people go. During the late 1980s and early 90s, following the collapse of communism, more than half a million immigrants arrived in Israel from the Soviet Union. The influx of hundreds of thousands of newcomers had a major impact on Israel's economy. More people working, more people looking for work, more people consuming, more tastes, more variations. So it's like injecting new blood in the veins of a nation. In the early 1990s, Israel encouraged the remaining Jews of Ethiopia to emigrate. Ethiopia was in a state of civil war, suffering from famine. <laughs> in Operation Solomon, some 15,000 new immigrants were flown directly from Addis Ababa to Israel. Their arrival became a national event. Ethiopia. חיינו כיהודים בקפאר של יהודים, מוקפים בהרבה קפארים נוצרים, ונלחמנו נגדם הרבה מאוד פעמים, והושפלנו בגלל היהדות שלנו. ובכל זאת הרבה מאוד יהודים שמרו על היהדות שלהם. The first wave of immigration from Ethiopia arrived in Israel in 1984. Thousands of Ethiopian Jews, almost forgotten for generations, resurfaced in a dramatic secret exodus. Their wrenching, dangerous journey across the African desert and mountains en route to Israel captured the imagination of the world. It is remarkable how contemporary immigration recalls the images and experiences of Israel's beginnings. The Jews of Yemen left their country on foot as well. That was in 1949. Some left property, some sold it for a pittance, but mostly they took their bundles and left. Uh, this is my mother. You know, this is my mother. My mother was still taking, you know, taking water from the well. They said it was a horrible journey. One month of walking in the sand, in the deep sand, in 40 degrees centigrade. And uh, people were dying like flies. That's what my mother told me. And they were burying, she herself, remember, burying her grandfather, uh, babies. A lot of people didn't take it and died. The emigration of Yemenite Jews in 1949 followed Israel's call for the Jews of the world to come to the Jewish state. The Jews of Yemen were flown in on what became known as Operation Magic Carpet. It was so romantic and idealistic and naive coming back to the land of the Messiah, coming back to Zion. It was a biblical journey. What an operation. It was unbelievable. And I tell you, I'm glad I'm here. <laughs>